Imagine the final episode of RimWorld. Imagine it in your mind. You don't need to because you're seeing it. This is the final episode. No matter what happens today, we are done with this series after the ship, the glorious ship. Like I said, I'm still excited for it because I've never actually done this outro before. This is where it takes off, immediately crashes into the inside of the shield generator and explodes horribly and catches the nuclear power plant on the way. That'd be kind of a fun ending. So what have I done since the start of the last episode? Well, what I have done is built an elaborate pusher system Ah, uh, that doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. It just makes steel dance around. Uh, you see that steel? Now it's dancing. You're welcome. But, uh, only the best shenanigans for the final episode. I think it's because I haven't built a pusher on the other end that will allow it to, um, basically extract the resource off the belt. So I've got that one queued up, but no one seems to want to fucking build it. Hey, don it. Oh, someone's apparently on it right now. Thank you, Omnibot. Okay. How about, how about now? Nope. What the fuck are you on about, though? Um, critical raw resources? No? <laughs> I fucking love it. What do you mean no zone? What do you mean by that? Oh, have I got to pick an outro zone? Hang on. Stop pile, stop pile one. The thing is, I've got this working, and I will show you in a second. Stop pile zone one. Go. Uh, that's still, still not working. Is it because it's going straight to an underground roller, do you think? I bet that is probably the issue, isn't it? I bet the underground rollers are just a bit fucky. Um, right, okay, what we'll do then. Because basically the way it's going is so that we don't compromise the, the integrity of the wall by having doors or anything. Um, we've got an underground roller which connects up to here. Uh, and they do definitely connect up, don't they? Yeah, that is the right distance, as you can see there. So that should, in theory, be pushing it underground into this one and then, you know, etc, etc. There's not like an underground roller I have to build, is there? No, it's just an input and an output. It's just not working. It's just making steel bounce around. So I have a feeling something's very slightly wrong. Now, the reason I started the episode, I wasn't quite finished. I wanted to get it all set up so we could just focus on the raids. Um, this happened. Mason charmed Dave by making a joke about life challenges. Dave was attractive and is now Mason's... D Dave is not attractive, but it was attracted and is now Mason's lover. Mason and Dave now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. Dave... Married to Chode Smirtley has become an, uh, begun an affair with Mason. What is this fucking Jerry Springer-esque, Rimworld-esque shit that we've got going on right now? People want double beds? I have no double... Uh, we do have room for double beds, though, don't we? Hang on, I'll start giving everyone double beds just to cheer them up a little bit more, I guess. Life on the rim is hard. Um, life on a rim is especially hard when you can't get the rim, so I'll give them all double beds as well for the, for the various couples. Obviously, Donitz was a couple. Um, Donitz was part of a couple, but then his wife, um, I think it was his wife, untimely exploded, um, in, in, a, in a very vile and, and terrible manner at the hands of some many mechanoids, many, many mechanoids. So he's probably still quite sad about that, aren't you? Although he's fairly sprightly, all things considered. Yeah, you know what? He's actually really happy, despite the fact that Nick died, Nick died, Alchemia rebuffed him, Euphrates died. Um, then again, Spacious Interior, Psychic Emanator Soothe. Impressive dining room and rec room. I have uh, done many things to try and bring them into a good mood. Is this good now? Yeah, we find them. Copy. Paste. Still, I mean, it is pulling it into directly another... Uh, stor storage critical. Pulling settings. Do one pull. every. Uh, do unlimited pulls every 24 hours. Raw resources critical. Um, now two of them. Are, it's dancing around faster, so I, I feel like something has happened. Um, we're waiting for somebody, anybody, to dismantle this, if you wouldn't mind. Are they actually hauling things over from this stockpile to the other one? They're both set to critical priority. Otherwise, they will just manually haul them, which is obviously not what I want them to do. Uh, can you... What the fuck? Can somebody... Don it. Don it. Fix this shit right now. Okay, fixed it. Uh, it turns out the puller was backwards, even though it was the only way that I was able to line it up before. I think it's just because I didn't have the conveyor belt down, but there we go. Right, we're now funding the actual main stockpile there with a shit ton of new stuff. Oh, look at that. That's working so well. Factorio, ladies and gentlemen, game of the year. Uh, except for that bit. Oh my fuck, it stopped working again. Why have you stopped working again? We... <sighs> I... <sighs> Forget it. Doesn't matter. It does not... Wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, no it, it has just stopped working again. Right, fuck you two game, I don't care. So basically, the, the whole reason I worked out to do this is because the sushi restaurant is now up and running. Um, look at this though. Look at your sushi god. Um, the only downside is, and the one thing that I never really thought about, was the fact that the sushi cannot be interacted with while it is on the conveyor belt. Uh, it is forbidden. 
So you can look at the sushi and maybe place an order, but you cannot touch the sushi. It's like a sushi art museum, uh, like an art exp expedition, an art installation, that's the right word, rather than a true uh, delicious restaurant. Um, yeah, not ideal, eh? So what I've done is i put a massive fuck-off titanium wall around the sushi restaurant and added a double door there for incoming guests to uh, dissuade certain enemies attacking this. Instead, they'll go through the kill box where they will be now met rather than four turrets, uh, sorry, four manned cannons. Uh, they'll instead be met by four titanium Vulcan cannons and hopefully die horribly. At least that's the plan. Um, everything else, though, exactly the same. I don't think I've changed uh, anything at all, actually, besides that. Um, what about the mines? I do not... Did I do something over here? I know what I did over here. Uh, shield generator. That's basically it. Shield generator, the means to build said shield generator, so a fabrication bench. Um, that, that's actually just it. And, and then I set them some builds to make advanced components and regular components, which the Omnibots can do. That's it. Um, it's been a very exciting uh, hour since I last played this game. So, let's send all the steel. And so basically these boys are also a component manufactory, which is kind of a nice little uh, bonus area there. Let's go ahead and send everything from here to the next place. Uh, just keep our boys funded. Somebody said send Tay over to... Uh, over, over to the promised land, over to the escape ship. I do like that idea. Tay was supposed to stay behind as the, the sushi manager, but I feel like Tay has ascended beyond that. Basically like full-blown colonist. Actually, it's one of the only AI as well that's, that's a learn. So it is a true AI in the sense that its construction skill, brace yourself, since the start of the game has gone from the meager five construction they start with to a whopping nine construction. Um, so I feel like you've, you've earned your place. So I'm going to actually launch Tay off as well. Um, Let's pick all of this shit. Let's, let's grab... Excuse me. I want to grab... No. Excuse me. I want to grab all of this. Load launch groups. Tay AI. Welcome aboard. Do we want to send anyone else? We could send like... Um, Mecha chicken. Oh my god. We could send Chungus. Big Chungus could come along. Welcome. Come along, Big Chungus. Who else have we got? Uh, we've got like bears and, and shit. That doesn't matter too much. Send Chungus. Send Tay. Tay, the rider of Chungus. Can they go in the same pod? Caravan has one out of 35. Oh, I suppose it's because they can, you know, move themselves. That would make sense. Um, what should we send, then? Titanium, I guess. Just just way more titanium for walls and guns and that type of thing. Uh, was that star vampire leather? That's cool. Traditional material for making clothes and bags. A very traditional material. Uh, send all the titanium we can send. 385. You know what? That's fine. Uh, send them over. Blast them off, boys. Holy shit. I'm so glad Chungus is getting to the end game. I really want to send Hal, the mecha spider. He's been here since the start as well. Like, any of the mecha spiders can definitely be blasted over. We'll leave behind, like, Pringle Chip and the, and the chickens and stuff because they can help defend the base. What? Why? Uh, tame them? I, w I would like these Triceratops, please. What is this? Oh, we got another Omnibot. Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting to turn that bill off. Uh, you know what? Let's install it and actually set it up and it can help out the colony here. I was saying that. They really don't need any extra help. We could send that to the mice. The mice could do with another help. Um, can we... C is it too late to actually load it on now? I just to load. Chungus. Classic. Tay AI. Uh, that's getting loads of titanium. This one's getting, I assume, just sharing the weight. I have no idea how this is supposed to work. I'm going to cancel the load going on here already because I just basically said send a bunch of titanium. Cancel that. Oh my god, there's so much shit. Whoops. Um, let's go ahead and start... Oh, fuck. I think I have to move that now. I get this shit out of the way so I can actually click on these pods. There we go. Launch. Load. Launch group. Uh, we'll send Chungus. Send Tay. Uh, send, again, basically whatever the fuck we want, so, so components are pretty decent. Um, <laughs> three disabled Omnibots, what a sad time. Oh man, we're gonna wait for them to get it all back into the stockpile now. I could just make this room, no, because it's outdoors. Yeah, no, I can't make that room the stockpile then, doesn't matter too much. Alright, we'll wait for that to come back. Sidini, oh, I know something else I did, I'll explain that in a second. Sidini, uh, was rejected by Yuffie, so it's still sad. Um... Hideous environment, because you're working in a quarry. Well, that's not really my problem, is it? I could try and make it a little bit nicer, but by the time I've done that, the quarry will be over and done with. I'm so glad this is working. Yeah, no, that's that's great. Really glad I didn't waste fucking ages setting this thing up. I was like, oh, the, the puller's on backwards. No, it is just completely broken. Um, we'll build another one, too, just to see if that... What the fuck is it doing now? <laughs> Who knows? doesn't matter too much. Uh, this is good, though. We've got plenty of resources. At, like 12,000 steel. What the fuck am I going to do with all of that? Um, oh, you know what? We need to power in these. Oh, that was close. We need to power in the shredder turrets. I was kind of expecting this to be a lot harder than it was. We've had no raids whatsoever yet. Um, built this whole elaborate kill box for really no reason. A little bit of a shame. You know, I'll, I'll wire that in both sides just in case they cut off the center here. In fact, don't even bother wiring it in because they'll go for that as their first target. Um, yep, that's good. Copy settings. Hmm. <laughs> um... 
No, that's not that's not right. Uh, what if we put another one here? Oh, we can't because that's into the quarry. Yeah, no, that's something's something's wrong. Good, glad I didn't waste my time. Visitors, that's the opposite of what I kind of expected. It's a bit disappointing. Holy shit. Hauling Chungus to transport pod. I love that this robot is basically going to pick up and drag this massive, massive Diplo Beetle into the... That's so good. I'm so happy that's a feature. Right, in you go. Um, oh, shit, I should probably build that door elsewhere because they actually can't get into it from there. Put it there instead. Right, get him in there and then we'll blast these boys off. Again, I want to bring over as many of the useful combat animals as possible. Um, just because of the upcoming war, which I was told was quite difficult. It's apparently not. Why is everyone so sad? Oh, probably hideous environment, right? Um, you guys stop working in the quarry. Honestly, I meant that for mostly the robots. You guys can just sit around at home. Oh, Quill actually is mad because I assigned him the wrong type of work. I didn't even know. Oh, no, that's not true at all. This is what I meant to mention. Uh, Quill actually was sad because he is a body purist. And I gave him, um, I gave him barnic parts. So I did the most sensible thing and pulled off both his arms. Uh, so that he would stop feeling sad. So now he's armless, but he is happy. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that we've solved that problem for him. That's that's the sensible thing to do, you see. I'm kind of hoping we get more bandits so I can get him some fresh arms. This is a fucking disgrace. Let's just turn it off. Honestly, I'm sick of look. Is it working, though? Sometimes it works. But this is like cursed steel. That everything else is fine. Oh, shit. We should have a whole components as well. Um, what is that? Manufactured component. Uh, component. Oh, now the components are cursed. It's like there always needs to be one cursed item around. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. It's fine. All right. Everything else, though. I think we're good. Maya's idle. Um, that, that's fine. I mean, is everybody... Oh, hang on. L launch them. Did I forget to lock? Ready to launch. Hey, let's, let's do it. Not enough fuel. Oh, because this one's... Fuck's sake. Why is this one not fueled? Oh, my God. There's no fuel at all. So what I was doing, what I started working on, but then uh, started the video before I could finish it, was an indoor growing area. So we can constantly churn out uh, fuel for these pods. Let's go ahead and finish that one off then. I didn't realize quite how long chem fuel we were. I could blast over chem fuel, but I have a feeling that would start a massive fire that would that would, that would would horribly kill us all. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, let's just build this roof in. Let's go uh, growing zone. Basically the whole thing is, is fine. Let me go floors, growing zone. I don't know what the best thing is to turn into... Oh shit, really? Why? What the fuck? Um, is it stone? Let's try regular soil. What is that? What is there? Apparently there's a... F is it already... Wait, 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 what's the ground? Tilled soil. Oh, right, it's already tilled soil. Yeah, ignore me. That's fine then, we're good. Um, we'll get some meats in here. Again, I don't know what the best thing is for actually growing uh, and turning into chem fuel. I'll just experiment with it a bit. I assume it's the highest nutrition, so I'll go with corn? You can make fuel out of corn in real life, so I don't see why not. Um, what the fuck is heating? Man, this game, uh, there's too many menus, and they're all not in, the, there's uh, too many menus, and they're not in the default order anymore. They've all sort of shunted each other along, so it's messing with my head constantly. Right, I've got a couple of these. Don't need too many, I don't think. There we go. Holy shit, it's finally happening. Uh, group of pirates from Inns Brigands. Inns Brigands, here they are. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, they want to siege the colony. Oh, well, that's fine, because we've got a shield generator, so you're more than fucking welcome to try it. Disable the robots. Everybody needs to get into full squad position. Um, I'm really hoping that these Vulcan cannons aren't a big fan of friendly fire. Because I'm not a big fan of friendly fire either. Right, bring them into here. Let's see. Let's just make sure everybody's armed and ready to go. The shit ones we need to move to the end. So the ones incapable of violence need to go right to the end. So that is Dave. Chode Smirtley is a brawler. So Chode is also basically useless. We'll put you two in the, in the base. Um, who else do we want to... What are they doing? How are they, how are they trying to get in? They're just standing around for now. You're more than welcome to fight mortars. I don't think they're going to do anything. Um, if they do, we'll have to send a little hit squad consisting of Donit, <laughs> I guess. Um, just to see how it fares out. Oh, we could send in the My Robots because they're kind of expendable. Um, let's see how this goes then. So, quite largely, apparently, also doesn't have a gun. Oh, you don't have arms. Yeah, that's fairly understandable then. Right, bring you two over into position. Get you two down into... Uh, move you there. Yep, welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, that's it. Get everybody... We should probably spread them out a little bit more, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, get you guys there. Let's bring you two this way a bit more. And then Alchemia. This is where the defensive position bomb would have been an absolute fucking godsend, but I, I keep not installing it because I'm kind of worried about the sanctity of the game at this stage. I feel like at any second it could blow up. 
Right, go on then. Let's see. Let's see how these uh, how these shields hold up. They looked a l they look a little more prepared than they have been before. So that one's got like power armor. That one there had power armor. Um, lot of sniper rifles as well. So the whole kill box turret thing might not have been such a good idea, seeing as it's a straight line, shoot straight down it. Um, might want to put a little kink in it then. We might want to. Uh, let's think. How could I how could I do that with this sort of area? We could do it like. Uh, so they walk down here, filter into there. Yeah, we could filter in into like a little less shape later on in the kill box. Right, let's see how this works. Come on then. Open fire, you cowards. Put on speed too, because apparently it's, it's, it's slower on the higher speeds. Here we go. Fire. <gasps> There's one. Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, so that one got slightly warmer. What was that? It. Ibex Ram self tamed. How many shells have they got? Well, that's a bit disappointing. So they're just gonna sit here and keep firing at us and hopefully wear away at our shields. What point. Oh my god! Seriously, they're all gonna go crazy in the time it takes them to assault the colony. Send in the mice. Send send them in. Let's let's bait them over here. Oh shit, this wasn't... Why is this not... Oh my god. Oh shit, that's terrible. That's like the worst news. Um, How could I do that then? Just temper... Okay, do that. Uh, you guys... On squad? I'm going to make a new zone specifically for emergencies. Honestly, I've, I've undrafted them for now because the amount of time it's actually taken the mines to get out of the base, I figured we could we could probably go over there and, and speak to them. We could just starve them out, right? Because I doubt the game would throw another raid at us if we've already got a current raid. Um, so we could, we could just sit there and keep them on the map as long as possible, but, I mean, also we've still got another 11 days on this, so, right, careful. Let's literally do called steroid, be careful. What's the range on our guns? Oh, they've got snipers, so this is a... Bork! Ah. Uh. Oh, that one hit. Good shot, team. Um, I think they're going for our turrets, I never really considered that. Um, I want to build another one. I don't know if that would make the shield stronger or weaker or how it would work. Yeah, I never really considered they would use mortars on turrets. That seems a bit of a weird thing, right? Careful. Cling to the wall. Slowly, slowly take this. Light them on fire. My, my is getting shredded. My is down. Okay, next my. Uh, rescue my three. Oh, they're attacking the whole colony. Oh, fuck. Uh, pick up. Oh god, yeah, we're gonna lose all of our my robots here. Honestly, that's fine. They sort of did their job. This is exactly why I sent that was to bait these other guys in. Goodbye, my three. We'll come back for you. We probably won't, but goodbye. Oh shit, they can run a gun. We can't. That's a little unfair. All right, keep moving. Um, leave leave the other my behind. That's fine. Let them come. Start to kidnap who they can and leave. Are they just taking a single robot and fucking off? I hope not, because that's a terrible raid. They don't seem to be leaving. I mean, that's the... Oh! No. Wow. Oh, fuck me. Seriously. We're on the second high... Fuck it. I'm, I'm changing the difficulty. I'm going up. Because this is not... What's the point of this? Boom. Merciless. We're on it now. Good raid. They stole a single robot that cost us 500 silver and 200 steel. And now they've fucked off. We should build our own mortars. What do you think? That way, if we ever get a siege again, we could just fucking shell them. I assume we can fire out of the shields. <laughs> a, bit, a, bit, a bit shit, if we fired it up, it bounced off the shield, it came immediately back down. Yeah, let's try that then. Um, probably a better idea than doing it the way I'm doing it now. So let's go security. What have we got? So, regular mortars, we've got automatic mortar. Hello. 12 computer components. I'm sure we've got a shit ton of those lying around. Automatic cluster mortar. Oh, fuck. Low range missile turret. Four magnetic coils. Cruise missile turret. Oh my god, that sounds incredible. Yes. Yes. Titanium cruise missile turret. Here we go, team. Can it be placed under a roof? Understandable. What if you place it like... Oh, this is all roofed, isn't it? Um, oh, we could put it here, though. That's actually... A, that's probably a genuinely very, very... Oh, explodes, though, went damaged, right? Um, let's double check. Explodes went damaged, yeah. So we need to put it under the shield, but far away from anything I particularly... I assume it's not going to explode in a radius larger than that. Surely. Now, I want to move it away from the ship if that's the case. Uh, what we'll do...
I think it's not too late for new content, right? So what we're going to... No, not new content, but content we haven't before seen that's been part of the mod pack since day one. Um, Cruise Missile Turret, Automated Cluster Mortar, and Regular Mortar. We will build them in order of how impressive they sound. So obviously we're going to start with the Cruise Missile Turret. We need 240 Titanium, 24 Computer Components, 6 Components, 24 Silicon, 8... Oh, sorry, 6 Magnetic Cores, and 1 Alpha Poly, all of which is in base number 1. Let's build ourselves some launch pods and actually get all of that shit transported over. Just taking like a screenshot of the ingredients list or something. I can always double check here though. Right, sweet. This base, massively fortified. Genuinely, send your best men and they will be annihilated by... What's wrong with Hal? Incapacitated. Oh, the dementia's taking him out. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, that's like really sad. Um, can we give him a new brain? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Have we got anything else? Minister, uh, we could get him high. Minister Goad, a uh, Minister Mechanoid Egg. Okay. What does a Mechanoid Egg do? Yeah, but what's a Mechanoid Egg? I, I saw someone, uh, were they in the, uh, they're in, they were in here, right? Or they were in the freezer or, or something along those lines. Um, well, they're not anymore, but they, they were somewhere. Oh no, we cut them into the sh sushi. Oh god, don't, don't tell me I've done that. Hang on, where are they? Um, man, Rimworld, sometimes you, you really just, you just, you just make me wonder. Uh, what about around here? Mech, in, no. <laughs> oh, there, there they are, mechanoid eggs. Absolutely not. You know what, fuck it, we'll just see what it does in a second. So these are now built, so we want to send to my good friends at Base, uh, Base Supreme. Uh, we want to send them the following stuff. If I go to the security tab, we want to send them, um, titanium, computer components. Okay, I'm going to print screen this and open it up in my other monitor so I don't have to constantly refer back. Uh, paint, where are you? I need you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we need to send them. Uh, let's go into here. Load pods. Computer components, which we have two of. Are you fucking serious? We've got two of them. We need 24. Okay, right. So, operation, uh, make me some more computer components is go. The only issue is we don't have any stone blocks anymore because we turned off the whole stone block cutting process in exchange for some refineries. A little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, in that case, let me think. Uh... Let's do it a little bit like... Hmm, I assume we're still stone cutting though. Nope. Make any stone blocks do forever. And then copy that. Oh man, we can actually get them attached to the benches. Oh, no, nope, don't reinstall that. I wanted to build a copy. Right, I'll get this set up to where churning out some computer components. And then hopefully we can continue on with the whole uh, massive OP security system that we've got going on. There we go. Computer component production is back on track. We've already got 12 out of the 24 we need, and it's only been a few seconds there. We do need to keep some silicon in storage as well, though. How much silicon do I need to send them? 24? Um, they should be making silicon far faster than making computer components, though. We might, just to slow down and keep the right ratio, I might even want to toggle this one off. Um, just because they're, they're churning out relatively fast anyway, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Hey, fuck off. Stop making chem fuel. We don't need any more. Get out of here with that. Crafted bot 8, you're taking too long to flick the switch. Right, there we go. Um, I'm stopping them making chem fuel on account of us having uh, the equivalent of a nuclear bomb sat on our doorstep here. All it would take was would, was one enemy drop pod to fall in here, and this whole base would go up like uh, like the Houses of Parliament. So I'd rather not do that, to be honest with you. Right, so we've got 11 silicon there, 12 components, a little bit more, and we should be good to go. Why are they not... Yeah, but make make computer components, though. Why is, why are the... There's too many bots focusing on the shit that's not important. I'm going to toggle off a couple of these machines. Um, because I want the crafting bots to actually focus on these ones. There's no way, unfortunately, to designate one job to be higher priority than the other for these bots. Right, uh, my, please, for the love of fucking god, turn these things off. Please. There we go. Alright. Hopefully now they'll focus on the... On the, on the production? No? What do we need? It's just 10 gold, 20 silicon. Oh, we don't have enough silicon! Oh, wow. Okay, right. Uh, my mistake. I thought it took 10, 10, 10 silicon each. It actually takes far, far more. Right, okay, turn them back on then. My mistake. Jesus Christ, it's working well. Look at this. Look at how much silicon we're constantly churning out. We were up to like 70 then for a second. Uh, when, when that, whatever, the, the crafting bot, the high level crafting bot, because we've only got what, like one or two of them. When they go and recharge, the silicon builds up very, very quickly. So I don't think we'll have to worry about that too much. Right, so we needed, just to recap here, we need ourselves 24 computer components, which we definitely got at this stage, I think. Um, have we? Yes, we've definitely got the... More than definitely got that. Right, let's get these loaded up then, because I feel like we've probably got everything we need at this stage. Load. Uh, items. So we need 24 computer components. Boom. You know what? I'll send them all, because they're useful. Send the magnetic cores as well. We definitely need those. Six magnetic cores, one alpha poly. 
Um, where is the alpha poly on this? There it is. Right, send that. Send the base poly too. Um, does it weigh a lot? 1.2 kg. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but we've got six pods. We're not really sending much else. Um, we need titanium. Silicon as well. Where's the silicon? Um, you'd assume it'd be... Yeah, you'd assume it'd be around here. Right, we'll send all of it. Um, again, just because... You know, it, it's more useful to them over there where they can't produce it than it is to us here where we don't need it. Right, so we got components, check. Silicon, check. Computer components, check. Magnetic coils, check. Alpha poly, check. Titanium is the last thing. Don't think we need any more over there, but I will send some anyway. My god, we can fit a lot in this fucking caravan. Send some uranium or, or regular steel. We don't really need any more steel. Some plasteel. If we just got, like, medicine or something, that'd be more useful. Um, we really have nothing else. I, I'm wanting to send over there, to be honest with you. Omnibot. Send an Omnibot. That'll always help out. Uh, we can send them uh, Rimsworld, Begetris, Flat Television, an Unfinished Charge Rifle, all this great stuff. Hang on, we could send uh, arms for whoever it was that was a big shit, Euphrates. Send him some new arms as well. There we go. I think we're good otherwise. Uh, do you want to send the, the OP stuff as well? The legs and the foot, just to help speed things up. Legs and the feet. I suppose foot, because your English is hard. There we go. Nice. Okay. Raid. Who are... Stepmother... Grenadine Grimble's stepmother. Oh, shit. That's a... That's a unit. Okay, fair enough. It, it's a raid, though. It's not a siege. So this is probably going to be an absolute massacre for them, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and disable all my robots. Oh, they're already still all disabled. Explains why this colony's gone to shit. Get all... Hiccups. Not now. Please. This is the most important... It's the most interesting thing that's happened in days. Right. Bring them together. Let's do it. Swap Supreme. You need to... You need to squat up. Fall in line or... Or... Or die. Which is unfortunately the truth. Right, okay. Um, why can't you move anywhere, Chode Smirtly? Because that's I'm, I'm picking a power conduit. Right, Chode Smirtly and Dave, you guys need to go into hiding. Um, you boys get over here. Again, defensive positions mod, highly recommended. Could not speak more highly of it. And what the fuck? Are they already here? Oh, shit. Uh, no, 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 don't walk in front of the guns. Big gun, scary. There we go. Bring it on. They're going round. Oh, they're going to go smash these first, I think. Oh, you fuckers. Oh, look at the sh Shields down. Oh, God, the all the shields are down. Oh, fuck. Shield offline. Man, that took no time at all, eh? Uh, Mechathromo, get the fuck out of there, you weird man. Okay, this is a bit of a massacre. I mean, for us and for them. I'm not sure who's winning here. Fucking look at that mess. My two is dead. Oh, God. Wow. Um, fair enough, game. Oh, you know what? We cranked the difficulty up really high, so I'm not particularly surprised about this. Um, what an absolute state. I feel like the kill box setup we have before works better than this straight line, which has definitely given the, the more long-range characters a drop on us. Holy shit. The Vulcan cannons, I think, explode when damaged. We have to be careful. The Shredder turrets are in. Mechathrombo has done absolutely fuck all. Um, Alchemia? Do I have to click release? Do I have to click release? Uh, animals? Me me Mechathrombo. Why can't we release them? Am I am I going crazy? Uh, Mecha Mechathrombo. Attacking. Oh, it's already attacking. What about Spoff Supreme? Already attacking. Okay, fair enough then. Yes! What was that massive explosion? I have no idea. Well... Uh, our first raid, fairly successful. We did lose our colonist, but it was an unarmored robot, so could have been a lot worse. Oh, God, the fire is going to take so long to put out now. Oh, Jesus. Hey, they left us some medicine. So anybody who was injured is uh, basically going to be healed back up pretty quickly. Yeah, no, we need to we need to switch back to an S-shaped kill box. That was, that was not ideal at all. Oh, man, there's going to be so many dead that we're going to have to bury. Fuck. It's the biggest thing. Oh, shield's back up. Right, so we know the shield generator is not massively convenient. They can only take a, a little bit of a beating before they really get fucked. Um, connect the shield to air network. Can I turn that off? What happens if we turn that off? Not connected to airflow network. Yeah, I don't care about that. Hmm, I didn't realize it plugged into the other mod. Otherwise, I probably would have disabled the other mod things we're not using it. But uh, that's, that's all right. Right, turn the robots back on. On our left, tribes people. On our right, tribes people. On our other right, more tribes people. Ba basically, it's just a tribal raid. I don't think this is going to be any threat whatsoever, given the, given the whole turret situation. I feel like the shredder turrets are just going to annihilate them all. Um, oh, well, even the precision turrets might, to be honest with you, because of the, the, the actual range that they've got. 
um, over, you know, spears and bows. Where the fuck are they going, though? Uh, excuse me? Are they just going round into the kill box? They're not going to mine through titanium, are they? That's not... Wait, what the fuck are they doing? Death, Meadow Ave 1. Meadow Ave 1 has been shot to death. Um, I don't know who that is, and I also don't care. Alright, um, yeah, again, I don't think we really need to do much here. I think this is going to be an absolute massacre. What, uh, what are these ones doing? That's... Shields are offline. No, it doesn't matter too much. Um, well, this is quite funny, I think. What the fuck are you doing? Repairing steel precision turret. You're going to just get stuck in, are you? Fine, okay. Sedini's going to get shot and killed, probably. And they are now fleeing. What a shocker. Man, I love these Vulcan cannons. They're so ridiculous. It was a really, really OP. They actually were trying to mine through the titanium wall. They still are. This was not planned for. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. That's that's not ideal, is it? Right. Um, in that case, we need two units. Oh, man. Everyone's still injured from the last raid, though. Who's who's close to dying? Donuts, you okay? Donuts is fine. Fricko is, Fricko is not fine. Fricko needs to stay behind. Everyone else can go. Uh, so bring you boys, except for... No, no. Just, just take all of these people. Squad up. Let's head round this way. Deal with these boys. No, no, no. no. Deal with... Kind of hard to say. We'll deal with these boys first. We could go in two squads, I guess. The only thing I'm concerned about is that they're, they're just the absolute amount of arrows they could fire would blot out the sun and maybe actually do some damage. So we'll send them this way first. We really need a shortcut to get through the shields. That would help out. Or, or through the uh, through the kill box. Right. Go, Grantly. Get right up here. Uh, team. Donitz is on it. Classic Donitz. Here we go. Donitz the killing machine. He's going to wipe them all out. No, he's going to get shot. Okay, Donitz, pull back. That's it. Lower them round to us. We've stopped him, uh, we've stopped him mining, which is the main thing. Right, get the fuck out. Yes! Okay, those boys are gone. They're actually just all dead. Right, and then we'll bring next lot round to here. I assume they haven't made... Oh, man, they've actually made significant progress. Right, back into the base. Dave, I know you're a pacifist, but now might be the time. They've just duped me with the old bait and switch. They're going to destroy the ship. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, so Dini and Galileo are already there, which... Pretty convenient. Thank you. Right. I would say catch them in a crossfire, but all you're going to end up doing is probably killing one another. Where are we all? Donitz is on fire. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Why wouldn't, why wouldn't Donitz be on fire? That'd be ridiculous. Um, okay, Donitz is actually just going to fucking die. Donitz, what's wrong with you? Get into the rain. Distinguishing fire on Donitz Professor. Right, there we go. Um, it's probably keeping an eye on what's going on over here, right? Eh? Oh, man. They've actually got over to the ship. Mason is on fire. Dobson has decided to leave. He's decided that wild creatures are always free because he's wearing a tainted nano suit. Dobson, you're a fucking idiot. And honestly, you don't deserve to be on the spaceship in that case. Right, we good? Oh, Donitz has actually gone down to chase down. Donitz, you didn't need to do that. Why the hell was he over there? I never sent him over there. Oh, I never understand the way some of the pathfinding works in this game, honestly. All right, we need to make these walls thicker. This is what I'm hearing. This, this was not thick enough. Might have forgotten about Tay. Doesn't matter too much. Not a big deal. Um, what do you mean no fucking fuel again? What What are you people doing over here? What? Temperature... Oh my god, but the heat is not enough. Well, it doesn't matter too much. I completely forgot about this area of the base, I'll be honest with you. To pay too much attention to these raids, and I feel like this is excusable for once, given the amount of fucking raids we've had. Right, let's start work on this then. Get this place into an area that is capable of producing fuel. It's not a very good refueling point. If there's no goddamn fuel. Right, um... Why have you stopped? The components... Are they not capable of building components? So what we've got to do then is go over to this one. We've got to send them fucking components in order to have them build... No, send them... What if I send fuel? Can I send fuel? I feel like this is an explosive mess waiting to happen. Dobson, if you leave again, you die. I'm going to be honest with you. Alchemy are directed Dobson back towards community. Dobson has accepted and joined Alchemy's... If you leave again, I'm, t I'm telling you, we're just going to shoot you down. We're going to treat you like a tribal raider because that's basically what you're becoming. Right, okay, let's do that then. Again, we're going to have this little sort of snake entrance to the base so that they stop... Um, coming in as one massive unit here. This is taking fucking ages to build, honestly. Right, get rid of this. Um, do we need to really... I should probably also do that as well. Just to just help buff it up a bit. There we go. Okay, this should be fine. I feel like this is this is going to help save us a little bit. You know, we could even go a little one step further here. Just do it like that. Nice. Okay, no no complaints with that. I think that's going to be good. Not not ideal, not centralized or anything like that, but it's fine. It's, it's a temporary fix. 
Well, that took a long time. Right, can we drop them... Where's the most convenient place? I guess over here? Somewhere, somewhere not roofed. Can we drop them into the shield generator? Or are they just going to bounce straight off? Yeah, no, it doesn't let us launch them into the shield generator. Okay, a little bit annoying. Um, right, zoom in. Drop them... Uh, here? That doesn't seem... Uh, here? Sure. Fall into Brit... Seriously? What do you mean? What? What? Nothing's fallen on them yet. Hang on. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. They haven't arrived yet, so I don't know why it said that. Um, and it clearly wasn't on a shield generator. Oh shit, did I suddenly launch the ones from the first base? Oh no, that's terrible. That's terrible, because that was filled with chem fuel. Oh, no, here they are. Yeah, no, I don't know what the fuck it was talking about then, because that's everybody. There's Tay, um, Omni Base Station. Where's my magnetic coils? That's the only thing I think we're missing here. Yeah, I feel like we've lost the magnetic coils. Well, there we go. We've learned something today. Uh, don't fire drop pods at uh, shield generators. Apparently, they blow up. No, ignore me. I'm going crazy. That was the other shipment with Tay and, like, just some random crap, like a flat screen TV. So, that doesn't matter too much. This is the important one. So, the computer components. I assume the magnetic coils as well somewhere. Oh, that doesn't matter too much. We'll find it. Um, right. So, we need some more pods. Get this sent over. Then, we can build ourselves some apparently automated mortars. Sounds pretty ridiculous. I don't know if we've got the resources to be able to keep them, uh, keep them ammoed. Reloaded? Loaded. That's the right word. To keep them loaded, but we can still... Oh, yeah, shit. Look, here it all is. Damn it. Okay, I thought that was the stuff that blew up. Oof. This took a while to load. A group of tribes people from the Red Stalk, so this is going to be... Oh, my fucking God. Is it just the one group, though? Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's fine. Um, my only concern is that Donitz is out there next to him. So, emergency area. Uh, similarly with our regular boys. Where is it? Restrict. Area 1. Um, Tay... I mean, your schedule can be whatever. You're a fucking robot at the end of the day. Like, is that racist? I really don't care. She's a robot. She has no feelings. Right. All the robots call back. Back to base. Okay. This is going to be the first good test of the new kill box. Apparently they're... Right. I see. No, that's fine. That's fine, honestly. Whatever. Whatever. Sorry, Donuts, I know it's a, it's a lot to ask, but outside Area 1? Are you fucking shitting me? That's why we couldn't build it? Oh, we're at Titanium. That makes... Okay, right, I was really angry at them for a second, and, I, and you know what, I had no right to be. That's my own fault for not keeping up with the resources. Granted, I am juggling three beds at once, but it's still no excuse. Uh, that man is riding a Brachiosaurus? That, oh, Brontosaurus. Sorry, Brontosaurus. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Right, get ready to kill one another in the crossfire. Um, let's put half of you guys there. Bring a couple of you over here. Chode Smirtly with a spear is turned up. Thank you, Chode. Right. Kill them all. This is going to be horrible. This is going to go horribly for us. Shield generator is offline. Congrats. Oh, okay. They're slowly filtering through. Oh, God, here we go. Yes, that's it. Kill them all. This is actually working better than the regular kill box, and that upsets me a lot, because this is literally just a hole in a wall. Dobson, get the fuck out of there. You can't even fight. You're, you're just standing around. Activate mechanoid controller belt? Wait, what? Hang on. Cannot operate when drafted. Oh, we can't use that on our half mech. That would have been so cool if we could use it on our half mechanoid crossbreeds. All right. Um, yeah, no, this is working frighteningly well. A little bit disappointing in the kill box now. You're just who's that right at the front there? Is that Donitz? Donitz, are you? Oh, because he's not drafted. Donitz, run! Oh, I thought he was dead, but it's actually the guy under him. My God, I thought he was getting toasted. Anybody else? You, you looking to die? Oh, shield generators are online, and they're offline. <laughs> Useful, great. Ten out of ten. Do you want to bring uh, Masons to important? Who's useless? Granite Grimble. No, you're too important as well. Um, let's just... I, I'm trying to bring people into range a little bit more. There we go. Just just retreat. You guys can't win this. It's unwinnable. This is an unwinnable fight for all of you. Get out of here. Quill actually move. Dave, get out. Uh, Chode Smirtly. We could stand him right behind the wall. You know what? You, you come stand behind my... And fire over a shoulder. There we go. Can robots go mad? Because this just cropped up in the middle of the raid. Um... I don't think the robots can go mad, though, can they? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Needs? Help? Needs? Robot? Luxury and comfortable? I don't think... 
robots can go mad. So I don't think we have to worry about that one too much. Okay, right, keep an eye on this, because they're just about to dig through wall number two. So I might even recommend retreating B-Squad back out a little bit. Granted, we do have the Mecha Thrombo right there. So when these boys come through, they're going to get they're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're good to go then. Do you guys just want to surrender yet? There we go. Open the floodgates. Bring them on. Yes, Mecha Thrombo. Kill all of us as well. And now they're retreating. What a shocker. Right, okay. Well, nice to know the kill box wasn't a complete waste of time. I assume during all that fun and games, we've loaded some pods. Contains nothing. Oh, we just rebuilt the pods. Right, okay. Now we get to load them. Luckily, we have all the resources in the world, so the fact that we've run out of power isn't much of a, a much of a problem, since we could just wipe down a second nuclear generator. I didn't even think we had enough resources, but I guess I've been shoveling over a load of plastic and steel we've just not been using this entire time. Not over any components. The only thing we've built with components are obviously the, the massive turrets here. So we've got more than enough to power this thing. Have we got enough uranium? Uh, but apparently we've got a thousand? Where the fuck is he? I don't know how I sent over a thousand uranium, but there we go. Um... That is everything, so that the... Oh, yeah, shit, look at that. Titanium cruise missile turret. Is that the minimum range? Yeah, it is. So that can hit anywhere on the map. Um, what, what what bullets does it take, though? Are you telling me it doesn't take bullet? Is this is this what I'm hearing right now? There, there are no bullet for, for missile? Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll wait and see. Oh, right, minimum range. I was going to say we'll fire at that dude. What about this guy? Can't shoot this guy? Um... It says minimum range. Doesn't doesn't do anything though. Uh, that thing's fine. What what do they take? Do they not they must take some sort of ammo, surely. They can't just be unlimited use turrets. Oh, this guy also just won't connect. It's probably because we're completely out of power, I assume. Now. Yeah, look, we haven't got enough power for like not the arcade cabinet. Right, there we go, problem solved. A couple more batteries wouldn't hurt. Hey! Mechanoids. Oh shit, hang on. That's bad. Um, centipedes, hopefully they go straight through the kill box. We'll keep an eye on that one in a second. Um I'm kind of interested in how these things work, because if these things are, I don't want to say omni-turrets, but they basically are. Weird. Okay, a couple more batteries also wouldn't go amiss as well. I didn't realize how few batteries we had in this space. Keep them in the freezer. Keep them nice and cool, you see. All right, there we go. That'll do. Um, yeah, how's this one going to go? Of all the places to get attacked, I wasn't expecting this place. Oh, God, the omnibots. Um, if those go, this whole colony basically falls into ruin. So I'm going to recall all. Uh, go home. Oh, manhunter pack. Manhunting elk. This is what you send me. This is what you challenge me with. Elk. I mean, that actually might fuck us. Ch Chungus? God rest his soul. <laughs> I think that's probably where I left him in a transport pod for about four weeks and completely forgot about the poor man. Right, um, we have no guns. Didn't really think this one through, eh? Uh, shortbow? Uh, uh, spear. Excellent. Right, we're ready. We're ready to kill them all. Bring it on, elk. How many are there? There were quite a few though, weren't there? Oh god, there are quite a few. Jesus. Um, get a little bit closer. There's a dinosaur fighting a giant mushroom. Final episode of Rimworld, everyone. Okay, here we go. Kill them all. Oh god, they're quite strong. Oh god, back up. Run. Shut the door. Uh, shut the door. Uh, that's not shutting the door? I didn't realise that... Okay, I didn't realize that they could just... Oh, fuck. Okay, that door there as well. I think we're about to lose the refueling base. I think we're about to lose Alpha Base. Um, Of all the things to wipe me out, I wasn't expecting it to be Elk. Uh, what are they after now? <gasps> Humans! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my three is... Oh, right, the, me the mechanoids. Yeah, no, I kind of forgot about that situation. Uh, what's going on with that? Oh, they're just smashing down the door. Yeah, no, don't face them, you idiot. What are you doing? Get out of there. Right, okay, pull back. Um, yeah, kind of wasn't expecting them to go straight through the fucking doors. These doors are reliability. I'm filling them in. Honestly, if we get any guests, guests to the sushi restaurant, you have to go through the kill box. I'm sick of it. Um, these people are fighting the elk and getting also completely destroyed. I'm, I'm nice to see that. Oh, Maya's fine. One my recovered and saved the other mice. Okay, Alpha Base not lost to uh, not lost to Elk. What an unfortunate shame that is. All right. Um. Okay, Mecha Chicken One is dead. Long live Mecha Chicken One. Kill them. Wow. These things have just a, an absurd amount of health. Like just a ridiculous amount. This is just unfeasible. Just soak this in a minute. This is an actual enemy that somebody thought they would put in the game. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's fine. 
Nothing wrong with that. Fuck, the elk came back. The elk, the elk came back. Wait, did they wipe out? They wiped out the entire caravan. Holy shit. Wait, what have we got here? Uh, game of Urboard. Iron horseshoe pins. Gold. Fuck's sake. I can't believe we lost the second base to elk. Unbelievable. Well, holy shit. Uh, apparently, wait, my AI. Oh, right, that one. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so all the elks uh, have bled out very, very slowly here. Um... <laughs> Holy shit, this is so... Look how much elk blood is everywhere. I've learned my lesson about holding doors open as well. I mean, if uh, who expected that to happen? These robots aren't going insane from the, um... They're not going insane from the sinkhole, are they? Doesn't look like it. It shows up here, doesn't it? Sanity loss... Yeah, no, I think they're fine. Well, this just in. Uh, robots aren't affected by giant evil uh, Cthulhu holes. So these things are absolutely ridiculous. The only reason I know that is because there was a single capybara that went mad... And the, 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 the missile that it fired in the shockwave damaged all the titanium walls. Look at this. You can sort of see roughly where it hit. All these titanium walls and all of these stone walls nearby, it was huge. So, we've also, they're also relatively cheap for us. So, the most expensive part being the Alpha Poly. The Alpha Poly, which we got when we bought and dismantled that statue. So, it's really, really cheap for us to build these things for now. Um... What I'm having to do, though, is build a new robotic assembler and a new electrolyzer so that we can get the computer components, because that's the only thing we're limited by. Every single one of them only needs a little bit more of the computer component things, then we're done. So what I'm going to do is basically just have these boys churn out a shit ton of those, and then we could just sit back and relax, because I have a feeling these turrets could single-handedly deal with every single raid we get. So I'm building the robotic assembler, I am building the electrolyzer, and with the resource we've got left kicking around, I have a feeling we've got enough just to build the computer, computer components we need to finish this off. Here's some advice for, for those of you at home playing Remod. Uh, if you want to end your campaign for whatever reason, uh, don't do it this method. Because this is an exercise in monotony and tenacity and boredom. It's been... I, I first The first clip I recorded for this episode was at 3.33am. Because uh, I wanted to get the video done before I went, in, went to bed. It currently sits at 5.42am. So over two hours later. And it's still not fucking ready. It's unbelievable how long this shit takes. Had I have known that it took 12 days, I would have started the ship up two episodes ago. That would have made more sense. I assumed, from what I've been told by the comments, because I didn't want to read up on it, because I didn't want to spoil it for myself, because I've never done this before, and it's the last bit of uh, new content I've got to see in base game RimWorld. From what you guys said in the comments, it was like a wave-based survival while we were waiting for the ship to warm up. I thought you'd just be constantly hammered by multiple raids, and it would just be like a war of attrition until eventually you can escape your otherwise doomed situation. No, it's not. Just regular fucking RimWorld. All that's happened is one might beat the shit out of another mine, we got a blight, and then some capybaras went mad. Besides that, this has not been challenging and in the least. So, just for posterity's sake, I don't know if I'm, this is going to be a continuous recording, so you're going to have to take my fucking word for it, because I'm sure as hell I'm not going to leave in the next 22 Rimworld hours, because that'll be about four hours on the actual video. For posterity's sake, we are still on Hildegard Epic Merciless Mode for any future raids that come in from now on. I mean, I don't know what to say, though. These turrets, though, uh, MVP, these are cool. Uh, massively OP. Like, uh, whatever mod has this, I think it's Glittertech. Would not recommend playing it if you're looking for a challenge in Rimworld. If you're looking for a base builder... Uh, where you want raids to turn up, but you can't be fucked to fight them. These are probably perfect for you. I really hope we get a raid any second now, so, I, so you can actually see these things in action. They are disgustingly overpowered. How long are we looking at? 21 hours. So I think 8, what is that, like 8, uh, 8, 9 p.m., no, 8, 9 a.m. tomorrow, on the 15th of December, Donitz and co. will be leaving the map. Well, actually, why are you mad? Tainted nanosuit, recreation de deprived, trapped underground. Recreation deprived? We've got, like, TV, we've got arcade cabinets, we've got a chess table, we've got so much to see. Uh, well, fine, I'll build you something for the last day, how about that? The game has crashed. That can only mean one thing. A raid. Group of pirates from Innis Brigands. They are using sappers. Oh. Oh, you fools. Watch this shit. Oh, it's already firing. Okay, so you see these? These are our automatic mortar turrets. This is the weaker of the weapons. Bear in mind, this is the weakest of all of our turrets. Watch this. That was the... <clears throat> Rim on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, don't get me wrong. All of my criticisms that I've got for this pack, partially down to me not doing my research and what the mods do, partially down to the fact that last save, uh, it ended early, before we could uh, obviously experience a lot of these very, very endgame ridiculously OP things. Um... Partially down to the fact that none of these mods are balanced at all. Uh, not even like... I'm not saying that they don't work well together. What I'm saying is even taking them, I think, by themselves, 
this would be an unlosable situation. If we just had Glitz Attack, this would be unlosable. I think if we just had Industrialization, we, this would be unlosable. Having them all together has definitely not helped that. I think this, this campaign went for too long. If I'd have set myself a hard limit of 30 days to get off the planet, then it'd be different. Um, then then we, would, we would certainly have a whole different scenario going on here. But the fact that I gave myself, you know, no real ending for the campaign and now I'm trying to follow up with this probably didn't help out either. So, not a criticism of Rimworld by any stretch of the imagination. This could have been quite fun if I'd have known how to do this in the, in the base game beforehand and known what it entailed. But this much prep sort of killed it a little bit. So what I think I'll do when we have like two hours left on the ship, I'll open up the dev console and I'll spawn in the world's biggest raid. The giantest raid you've ever seen. And we'll see what happens. I, I want a raid big enough to kill us all. I just want us to survive long enough that we can get people on the ship and launch out whilst the base burns around us. I think that'd be kind of a cool ending. That's what I'm going to try and do. Don't know how, whether the game will survive that. Um, whether or not it's even capable of taking enough troops to pose a threat. But we will still give it a go. 11 hours. Here we go. Let's watch some tribes. People will be absolutely... An oh my god, there's, there's what? Two lots? Three lots. Here we go. Let's watch them all. Solar Flare. A challenge. An actual challenge. Thank you, game. Holy shit. Right, we're ready. Um... I think we're going to die. <laughs> I think we might get wiped out here. Okay. Squad up. Unless the, unless the solar fire ends now. Oh, there's a corn plant. Well, you know, close enough, eh? Right. Okay, they're using sappers to turn around the defenses. So, these things also have quite a significant minimum range. So, these things are going to be useless if they get close enough. I think we need to deal with this lot first. We're going to leave our own kill box here. Disable all of the Omni Droids. Get them. Oh, we can't because there's no power. There's no power that we can't even disable. It doesn't really make much sense. All right, move in, team. Um, I'm sending the people even incapable of combat because, honestly, I don't care anymore. Let's get some threat going. Oh, that's a massive weakness in the wall. Never thought about that before. Shit. Oh, my God. They even know the, the secrets. You know what? It is actually quicker to go back into the base, isn't it? Fight them when they get inside. Oh, shit. All right. Four hours left before we can escape. All they had to do was knock out the entire power grid via an act of their, their evil twisted god. Light wall, d d don't destroy my lights. Get out of here. Hey, fuck out. Oh, wait, Omnibots? Uh, okay, select similar. Deactivate. Go to bed. Kill them all. Oh, Granny Grimble's getting a pound in. It's just what he wanted. That's fine. I still think the uh, solar flare is ending. Aha! And now you die. And now, oh god. Now we all die. If these things target Donuts and crew, then we are fucked. Well. Okay, that's bad. Where did those just... Where did those things go? Oh, they're aiming for them as they're running away. That's fine. Not a problem. Uh, they're in full retreat mode. We haven't lost anyone. In fact, no one's actually taken any damage at all. Right, Sidini, you need to get the fuck out of there, dude. You're going to get rocketed. Okay, I think we're fine. These ones are the threat. Oh, they're gone. And there we go, the end of- oh shit, okay, no, they're actually still after us. I thought they were retreating, but no, it's absolutely not the case. The t the, the shield's online. Uh, can we turn it off? We could just lower the radius, hang on. <laughs> go rockets, fire! Okay, pull back. That explains why the rockets weren't doing anything. It wasn't the fact they were going after someone else, it was- There we go, alright, are they gonna hunt down the people trying to escape? That'd be kind of funny. Hey, stop, stop that. That was dangerously close to the ship. And we're good. It's time to leave. Well done, team. Good work. Um, yeah, kind of a massive hole in the wall then. I never really considered that being a problem. Oh, God. Where, where's that one firing at? Oh, there we go. Well, that's all the, uh, the escapees dead. At least they tried. Are these ones going to make it off the map? Are they going to survive it? Oh, God. No, apparently not. Those missiles are absurd, though. They're just disgustingly overpowered. Charlem Whitestone has finished the reactor's hibernation recovery sequence. The reactor is now ready for liftoff. Uh, all aboard, airline through. They destroyed one of the... Oh, shit. Was that important? Yes. Yes, it was. This game just will not let me end it. It just will not let me end it. Okay, research starflight sensors. Now, hopefully, can the Mize research? Oh, thank fuck. Okay, Mize get to work. We've got the Master Brain, so this is going to take... This is like plus a thousand percent speed, so I'm really not worried about how long this takes at all. All right, there we go. It's going to take all of about two minutes. Oh, oh god. Seriously? No, apparently it's going to take fucking hours still. 
No, that can't be right. Even with the Master Ray and all these extra research bonuses. Quellachki's given up. You're giving up at this hour. You're giving up right now. We're just a... Take him out. Take him down. Seriously, put, put him down. I don't care. Kill him. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, he's had a change of heart and he's coming back to the colony. That's what I fucking thought. Welcome, welcome home. Glad you changed your mind. You want to... I want to heal him up, though, eh? Oh, Sidini's on it. Thank you. Good. Good. Everybody's happy. We're leaving. Everybody's fine. Lord, have mercy for this this game. It's going to fucking... It's going to kill me. We've done it. All it took was me building a shit ton more research stations for the mice so they could all work simultaneously. It's I understand, like, if you put a load of five... Five research ability robots on a big, important research, it's going to go slowly. We've got this fucking thing and everything else, though. I was kind of expecting it to go at least a little bit quicker. And I've built a special research station for Donuts as well. Jesus, are we almost done? Are we out? Oh my god, there we go. Right, okay, so now we need to build under ship building. Under ship, sensor cluster. Fortunately, we have all the components. If we didn't, I'd have, I'd have cried. I'd have actually cried, just so you know. Right, get these people on board. Mason, get in the fucking casket. Alchemia, get in the fucking casket. Grimble, casket. Sedini, casket. Dobson? You two. Much to my dismay, you two. Uh, Galileo? Quite actually, can't, can't walk. Oh, fuck. We have to wait for this knob to heal up. Chode? Chode up. Dave? Get in. Tay? Welcome aboard. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Everyone is in and ready to go. Look at that. I wish they disappeared from the screen when I know they're loaded. Alright, who are we waiting on then? Just Donuts now, I assume. He's arguing with that robot. What about, can we put animals in there? Uh, objects. How do I put animals into pod? You have to knock them out first, don't you? Uh, do, do we add Bill and anesthetize? Ani, anesthetize. Right, no animal beds available. Seriously? If I want to take Spoff Supreme with me, I have to anesthetize. For fuck's sake, okay. Uh, furniture. Amb and abominable bed. Do we have enough cloth? We have enough cloth. Okay, it's fine. Put down these. Anesthetize this animal. Do we have enough medicine? 19. Okay, we're good then. Build us some build us some beds. Get these animals down. Mechathrombo, you're coming with us as well, pal. Don't think you're being left behind. What other animals have we got kicking around? Um, Bonoro. Bonoro as well. You're coming with. You're one of the lucky few. A proof that Gene Corp works. You're going to be what we sell Gene Corp to. Oh no, I almost left Dave behind. God damn. Oh, he's riding over to the... Dave, are you seriously that lazy? Da Dave, we're going to fall out. Right, so... Everyone is on board besides Donitz, Spoff Supreme, my. Oh, that's a my robot. It's not Tay. Okay, I don't care about that. Donitz is going to quickly knock out these boys. Are they are they knocked out? Destroying weapon. Can I? Wait, carry, carry Spoff Supreme to Crypto Sleep Casket. Boom. Get him in there. And then carry Bonoro. And then carry Mecha Thrombo 2. Destroying weapon. No, fuck off with that. Carry. Carry. Then. We're done. Oh my god. It's actually working. Holy shit. It's, it's, it, we've done it. D done it! Shit! What's the point of me queuing up jobs if you're just going to ignore me? Right. Have we got enough for Donuts as well? Um, how many have we got empty? Uh, is there nowhere to find out? So Sedini, Grant the Grimble, Alchemia, mate. There he is. Donuts gets to light the head of the ship. Boom. I'm going to send in the world's largest raid now. And we can watch it burn as we fly away. Our greatest threat that we've ever had. The commandos. How many of them? Well, uh, I've sent many. As in, many, many. Uh, where are they, though? Is that it? That was a bit disappointing. Um, oh, they're all dead because these turrets are fucking absurd. Where are the others? Literally, I, I executed... So, 5,000 points is the, the strongest a raid can be. I genuinely sent in, like, five of them. Dominibot50 is dead. What a fucking shocker. Um... Uh, oh, wait, no, they are slowly, slowly dropping in. They're just, like, consistently dropping in, though. Oh, God, Donitz. Oh, shit, get on the ship. Get on the ship, get on the ship. Hey, 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 get on. <gasps> One's inside. Do not do this. Get, get the fuck out of here. Hey, you leave that, leave that pod alone. Donitz, put him down. Donitz! Do not let him smash that pod. Donitz is on fire. Get in the, get in the casket. Don it, don it, don it, don it, don it, get in the casket. Don it, in the casket. There we go. And get ready to launch ship. Okay, please. Fuck, get in the fucking casket. Oh my god. They're actually getting through. Oh. 
Are we in? And we're off. Good night, gentlemen. Do not smash that engine. Silver War. Fuck off. Ah, there we go. Peace, peace and quiet. Welcome. You launched the ship. These colonists escaped. We've got Spoth Supreme, Mecha Thrombo 2, Bonoro, Dobson, Sedini, Grantly Grimble, Alchemia, Mason, Donitz, Tay, Chote Smirtley, Dave, Bricko, Galileo. We left behind my... my Oh fuck, when Lush Clay was in the hospital bed. <laughs> we left a crippled man to die. <laughs> oh fuck, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that's the best ending to reward I've ever had. <laughs> That was worth the six hours of build-up, just for that. You've got, you've got tears in your eyes. Oh my fucking god, that's so funny. You're crying, the... you just killed him. <laughs> There's like all these commandos dropping in. We get in the spaceship, we fly away. Oh shit, has anyone seen Gwen Lashley? <laughs> oh, fuck, that's so good. Gene Corp, everybody. Thank you for watching. It's been the greatest series we've ever done on the whole channel. That's not true. The, by, the, by the end of it, I was I was ready to throw in the towel. But I'm so glad we stuck with it. I can't fucking believe that. It's so funny.